Okay, this time we have a kite 20 feet above the ground. It's moving horizontally at a rate of 6 feet per second. At what rate is the angle between the ground and the string changing when 50 feet of string are out? So we know that this height is a constant 20 feet. And again, we know that this kite is moving horizontally, meaning that this distance right here, which we can call x, is changing at 6 feet per second. And again, in terms of calculus notation, that means dx dt is 6. Now, we're asked to find at what rate is the angle between the ground and the string changing. So the angle between the ground and the string we need to name, we'll call it theta. And our goal is to find how fast that's changing, or in other words, we need to find d theta dt. Okay, so we know that we're given a rate of 6 feet per second, that's dx dt, and we know that we need to find a rate d theta dt. So we need to relate those two variables in an equation. Fortunately, we're pretty good at trigonometry, and we can relate these two variables using a trig function. We can say that the tangent of this angle is opposite over adjacent, or 20 over x, or maybe slightly more conveniently, because we're going to be taking a derivative of this, we can say that the cotangent of our angle is x over 20. We need to take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to t, and the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared. Of course, since theta is changing, we need the chain rule, which says we need to multiply by d theta dt. The derivative of the right-hand side is just the x dt over 20, which we can write as 1 over 20 dx dt. Okay, now we have our equation that relates all of the variables that we need. We're given dx dt, so we know that one. We're trying to find this one. What we don't know is cosecant squared theta. Fortunately, we know our trigonometry pretty well, and we know that the cosecant of an angle is 1 over sine of the angle, which is hypotenuse over opposite. If we call the hypotenuse s, uh, we know that we're given in this problem that at the moment we want these related rates, our s value is 50. So our hypotenuse over our opposite side is just 50 over 20, or 5 halves. And we can plug that in right here, and we get negative 5 halves squared d theta dt equals 1 over 20, and dx dt was 6. We can simplify this slightly and solve for d theta dt. Okay, solving for d theta dt involved squaring this fraction. It involved multiplying both sides by 4 over 25, uh, bringing the negative sign over, simplifying, and I got negative 6 over 125. My calculator gives me that that is 0 0.048. Now, what are we talking about for units here? We're just talking about an angle. So I guess you have the option of, is it degrees or is it radians? And as it turns out, if we're doing calculus, we're taking derivatives of trig functions and all that kind of stuff, um, the degrees should always be measured in radians. So our final answer is our angle is decreasing because it's negative at a rate of 0 0.048 radians per second. Now I'm going to take a look, make sure that those are the correct units. Yep, we had feet per second up here. So our time units are going to be in seconds, and that looks like it.